100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain and the Mix Man. Exogen, like that with Filthy Ball. Right about now, the time is 11.30 and it's all about chat trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media. Got DJ Pressure in studio with me. Pressure, how you feeling on this happy hum day? I feel better. Yesterday was worse. What? What was going on yesterday? The weather. The weather was what horrible. What do you mean? It was it horrible. Was, it was that cold? I don't feel like a newborn baby yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all wrapped up in the bed. Oh, you know I mean? Why everybody make it seem as though it was so cold yesterday? I don't know. I got well, cold pretty was, easy, was, but I didn't really feel chilly. it. It was chilly. It wasn't really cold. It okay. was chilly. Okay. That's the best ex expression for it. You know well, what I mean? I guess. Well, that makes sense then. So let's talk about what's going on today. I'm going to start things off briefly just with a little bit um, of Ja Rule. Because, you know, Ja Rule, remember the Fire Festival? Yeah, yeah, him and uh, <laughs> the other guy. The other guy. The yeah. other guy. Yeah, you know we really remember Ja Rule, though. Right. But, you know, but nonetheless, I love to see the fact that he isn't giving up. And he just received his certificate from the Harvard Business School Online and Entrepreneurship Essentials. So, I don't know. I love to see it. I love to see when someone, despite what the world has to say about you, you still are going to make something of yourself. And I guess since Donald Trump was banned from his favorite social media app, Twitter, Ja Rule also welcomed him to join his app. Well, it's Icon app. It's a, it's a celebrity booking app. So, congratulations to Ja Rule, man. He's still pushing forward. Even though all the negative things um, 50 Cent have said about him <laughs> and everyone 50 else. 50 killed his career. Do you think 50 Cent killed Jaro's career? Uh, not really. The, uh, the government killed the career, to be okay. honest. You know okay. what I mean? With the indictment and all that, with Irv Gotti and all that. Oh, yeah, really yeah. killed their, their operation, you know what I mean? But i glad he overcome what he was going through, like far as the fire Festival and everything. Uh -huh. That's a good luck, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, but you could at least say this. What? He had one on one first in business <laughs> dealing with the fire festival. Yeah. So you know, that was yeah. So that's a good luck if you overcome that. That's you what know? I'm trying to say. Yeah. That's a huge luck. But also, let's get into um, more important news. So, of course, America's official president, Mr. Joe Biden, he had issued an executive order directing federal agencies to require international air travelers to quarantine upon U.S. arrival. And the Airlines for America, which is a group representing major U.S. airlines, separately said it hoped that the White House will recognize that testing can be used to safely resume travel without quarantines, which is true. And they stated also that, you know, quarantine is very difficult to enforce and often prove ineffective. But good news is here now. Uh, just recently, the Minister of Tourism announced that quarantine will not be mandatory for air passengers entering the U.S. from an international country. Russia, you didn't love that news yesterday? I didn't air it. I ain't loving it now. Oh, let's, oh okay, okay. I didn't air it. I, to be honest, okay. I didn't air it. I know, I, mean? I know a lot of um, behemoths are super excited about it. Seems that we are just 30 minutes in the well, air away from Florida. I, I don't like to be you, political, right? Oh, gosh. But... What Biden doing is what our government been doing. And it's getting backlash for it. But now they do it as like okay that they getting their stuff together. What do you mean exactly? With the lockdown and like the... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like... You can't win being a Bahamian though. That's the, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to put it. What it is, Pressure, you can win being a Bahamian. No, a Bahamians all. doing it, it's just, never, it's just not going to work out. Yeah, you know what I mean? But that's a good luck. Uh, what about the box in? Okay, so yes, just recently, let me actually um, read directly from this statement. So, of course, you know, they're stating that the vaccine, it is here, people. Well, it's coming. Let me not say it's, it's here, but it's definitely coming. So, practically, I would just look at it and say that it is here at this point. But it was stated that, um, okay, the World Health Organization and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance informed Bahamian health authorities that the Bahamas could receive 100,000 doses of the vaccine starting the second half of February through the second quarter of so 2021. Is this the double dose vaccine or just the single one? Because you know, it's one when you take one and you take the next one to, uh, three weeks after. Um, Which vaccine is this? I have no idea. Not? I have no idea as yet. Because if as you say 100,000, you got to actually put it at 50,000 now. Uh, but I'm like I, I don't I don't know. But either way, the question is, would you take the vaccine pressure? What I do I have an option not to take that take they, the they, vaccine? They might, they might be a little nice with it. I mean, they might be a little bit kind and just say, hey, well, um, let me give you the choice. It's up to you. I feel if I don't <laughs> have the coronavirus, I don't need to take it. Which I agree, honestly. But that's, that's of what course, I feel. But then I feel mm -hmm. if I if I go into that process and not just showing my vaccine papers, yeah, they'll be like, all right, well, you have to take. A corona test every time to um, do your travels. Yeah, well, that's that what true. I feel. 
Yeah, but I'm saying, but still, they're saying that um, you can actually um, catch COVID twice. You see, you can get it again. So even if you have, even if you took the vaccine, the possibility of you getting it again. So that, that's when it becomes confusing. So mm. it's like you would think if you take the vaccine, it prevents it. You can never catch it again. But no, they're saying that you could possibly get it again. So basically, so, it's a super flu now. Th th that's what it's coming off like. Because like, every year, you just have to uh -huh. do a flu shot. Right. So that's how it sounds to me. Yeah, so it's a bit off, though. Yeah. But also, I got to shout out to everyone on the Facebook Live, man. My girl, Diane Knowles, she's saying that H to the no, she's not taking a COVID-19 vaccine. And my girl, Antonia Brown, is saying no way in history she's taking hers. And everyone basically on the Facebook Live right now is saying that no. Okay, no. Jason, we're right here saying that yes, he's taking it. And the girl, Katara, she's saying, Katara Saunders, she's saying that she's taking it. Who else is taking a vaccine, man? My girl, Rose Thompson, man, she's saying that she is not taking as well Sharika knows she said that she's not taking it you do you believe the, you see, that hold on. did you see the video with the woman saying that she is not taking the vaccine no say so she's up sign us oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that she started doing that annoying thing with her with her ears and nose I was like oh man so he's like uh oh, what sign gotta do with you taking the vaccine yeah that is up sign us like, oh, all right then but that's what I'm saying. So I don't honestly, um, my girl Diamond right here is saying that it should be your choice to do so. But at this point, it, it, it's around the world. I'm saying everyone internationally is taking the vaccine. You already see, um, who is it? You know, In the head of Pfizer. Movement amongst the world, throughout mm -hmm. the world, you will yeah. have to do that. Bing. And then Bill Gates, you know, he was, he didn't take the vaccine and now he already just recently took it. So it's at this point, everyone's going to have to do it. So I think this is just something that we're just going to have to... Um, Suck up and just so do I it. So I know like a few people went to Africa, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And for you just to go to Africa, it's like 12 shots or something like that. Yeah. Right? So if they protect you from whatever might happen if you go Africa, yeah. take the vaccine. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just take the vaccine. Because if you get in Africa now, mm -hmm. just saying, mm -hmm. that's 12 plus 1 now. So you have to take that shot. Just to go Africa now. Yeah. So just to go uh, US right now. Yeah. Take the box and if it ain't no like um, extras with it, take well, it. We're hoping, fingers crossed, nothing happens. Because, you know, especially they're saying with these vaccines and anything, they have to be tested for some years. Let's sit out for one, two years and just <laughs> what is watch. It? Sit out? Yeah, sit out for one, two oh, years and see what's going to happen. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know, pressure. But at the end of the day. Are we, you taking it? You still ain't answer that? <laughs> You didn't ask me that question. I did, yeah, ask, yeah. did I ask her, Clinker? Did I ask her? Well, just shake the see. camera. Shake it. Just, <laughs> there you go. I don't know. All right. So apparently, um, I, I was asked the question. But I, if it comes to that point, then yes. I mean, we, we all don't have that choice. I'm saying, mm. if you like to travel, you want to live your day-to-day -day life, especially if you love to travel, I'll say it again, then you know more than like you're going to have to take the vaccine because that's just what's becoming up the norm, of, um, mm. especially in this time, 2021. Things have changed. And Yo, check this out. Like how they're saying, oh, they're putting bionics or whatever inside your blood and all mm -hmm. that with the vaccine. Yeah. That being going on. Yeah. So just for people like to operate with limbs and then they like pod robots and things. I mean, it might sound off fetch or what uh -huh. they're saying, but it's a norm now. Yeah. It's really a norm, but I guess based on the, based on the facts that you're thinking it might be mm -hmm. that way, you're more scared than if you had to do it for no other reason. Bing. Well, I agree with that. And then I agree with my girl, Katara, right here. She's saying that, honestly, not taking it, not taking the vaccine will restrict mobility internationally, of course. And the vaccine is the way forward. And, but I can tell you this, though. After I did do my COVID-19 test, mm. I did start to feel a little bit weird a couple days later. Right, so so I, I, don't, I don't know if it's been putting something in the test. I don't know what's going to be in the vaccine. But I did start to feel a bit off. But Some people yeah. get scared of needles. <laughs> Listen, anyhow. That's what it might be. Anyhow. We ain't getting into that. Whole point is, if you got to take the vaccine, we all know you can take it. Just don't tell nobody you take it. But they can see you traveling, so they can know you take it anyhow. <laughs> that's what it is. But that's it for Chat Chat. Letting you know what's happening in the media. The COVID-19 vaccine is on the way. Keep it out. Locked in right here. King Vaughn, take her to the O.